Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hello. It's so fun. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Every now and then I hear rumblings about the bus being restored. Well, you know, <laughs> it's, it's here waiting if somebody wants to restore it. <laughs> I figure I'm just going to clean it up inside, you know, and maybe put a little bed in there so, you know, it can be like a spare little guest room. That's cool. Yeah. Hi, Puxy. So, yeah. like, what is exactly the history of it? Do you know? Yeah, it's the it's our hog farm oh. bus. It's the, it's the road hog. Oh. And uh, we traveled around the country in it. Back oh, in. you did? Yeah. And it went to Woodstock and, you know... Oh, had the uh, we had the great bus race with Keezy's bus in, in uh, Aspen Meadows. No Park. kidding, really? Yeah. So you know it's kind of a yeah it's kind of a famous bus. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Has it been in like magazines and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's in that flashing on the '60s, back in its heyday when it was really beautiful and running and everything, and then. It, um, well, we had a fire in it at one point, and then it was, we were trying to get it fixed up in 1970 to go take it back on the road, and we didn't quite get it, we didn't get the one part that we needed to make it to the summer solstice in Vermont. Oh, no. And so then from then on, it just sat, it was over there by the barn, and, uh, and it just slowly, uh, mm. you know, people took parts off of it. And, oh, they did? And, it just looks know, like the whole engine is missing. <laughs> well, the a a engine is sort of missing. And uh, <laughs> well, at one point they couldn't get the bolts off the engine. It was um, bolted uh, shut, so somebody decided to put a, a stick of dynamite in there, and it, it did loosen all the bolts. But you know, was, yeah. it blew the hood. You know, good idea. But well, it's somebody cool. had stolen one of the fenders, and oh. I later at a party in Santa Fe saw it no way. in somebody's house. They had it out over their fireplace. So oh. we planned this whole thing and we went and got it back. Oh, that's so fabulous. Back. That's awesome. Yeah. That's fabulous. That's a good the story. Defender recovery. The Defender recovery. Oh, I love it. Crew. I love it. Wow. I can't remember if we stole it back or if we, you know. We probably, we probably, probably did. Little, you know. Just a little. <laughs> or whether we just, you know, asked, said, hey, we still got the bus, you know, you got to give us our Fender back. Maybe you said that as you were taking it. Though. Yeah, it was something, something. <laughs> I, I can't quite remember. It yeah, so. Oh, that's great. That's very cool. So then, just last year, because we sold the farm, and so um, last year I moved it over here, and, and it actually still had air in the back tires after 30 years of sitting in one spot. So I just had a tow truck come and move it. That's, like, miraculous. I know, it is. So, it, you know, it's had, like, it was so full of junk, I've taken three loads to the dump, and I still need to take more. And yeah, there's some stuff still in there. Yeah. So who did the artwork on the side? We all did. We all did, you know, before it went on the road the first time. Uh, Paul Foster, you know, just a bunch of the old hot farms. That's cool. And the inside was really fixed up, but oh, after I'm the sure. fire, it, you know, got, yeah. it had... You know, yeah, it's gutted. It a collage, whole collage job on the roof. Yeah. For a while, our barn was leaning up against it, and it was leaning up against the barn. And, or the barn was leaning up against it, but so I pulled it out, and that collapsed the barn finally. Because <laughs> I felt like it was sort of a hazard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so anyway. I know, and I'd like, at one point I tried to get get a crew together to repaint it, you know, so it wouldn't fade away, but I could, of course I kind of like it faded. Yeah, it's got that patina of the 60s, you know, it shows its age yeah. and it's kind of interesting like that. It's in better shape than further, Keezy's bus, that they're, um, they're going to restore. Maybe that's I, what I was reading. About. That's Ken probably Keezy's what you were reading, bus. Ken Kesey's yeah. original bus, because he had made a fake further, yeah. which we always called the fake further. But um, his original one is sitting in a swamp with a tree growing out of it. Oh, lovely. Where's that? In Oregon. Oh. I was reading something about wavy gravy in the hog farm. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, wavy's still out there. Are, everybody's in California, and they do camp on a rainbow. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I think I saw that. It was, I think it was something on TV. Maybe so. Him, like a documentary kind of thing. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, if you ever want to look it up, it's under campwinnerainbow.com. Camp Winnerainbow. Winnerainbow. It's W I N N. Yeah. And they do an adult camp, which is really a fun thing every 
the beginning of every summer. And what happens quarter. there? Um, all kinds of uh, circus arts classes and juggling and um, theater and games and um, art, mask making, um, fantastic talent shows and croquet and rock and roll. Oh yeah, the full range. The wow. full range. Right Big fun. It sounds like a good back. camp. Right it's on. really good. Right on. Yeah, you should consider going sometime. It's really, it's like five hundred dollars for a week. It's or six days, I think it is, and three gourmet meals a day, and wow. big fun nice. up in Northern California. That sounds way better than the Burning that Man. That sounds cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Burning Man has become too commercial, you know. And it's pretty expensive. Three hundred a person. Oh, is it? Well, that's not too bad. I thought it, I heard it was even more. No, it's three hundred a person. Yeah, it's still kind of expensive. But it well, you, just really well, you get nothing though, but but admission, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You, you have to take everything. Your, to, everything. Take everything. I know. Everything. It sounds like a neat thing, and for the young people these days. But to me, it's like I've already done that. Yeah. And I've already gone yeah, to you know, and to intense. go to the desert, and you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I love the desert, but and they also say that. You know, there's blasting music all night long. Like sleeping is a real problem. You know, because everybody's on ecstasy and they blast their music all night. Yeah, and, and it's like like that's know. harassment, really. Yeah. They used to have a, a loud side and a quiet and side, quiet and they side. got rid of that. Oh, they did. Yeah. I know a lot of people that do it, and they have all the you know the neon you know lights you know costumes and stuff. But I figure I already did that stuff. Yeah. Right. And you have the you have the artifact to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> that is the cutest anyway, dog. Enjoy. Feel free to Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Yeah, where are you from? From here? Taos. Taos. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we were just cruising around. We we were walking around in the woods and uh, we found these mushrooms. We thought they were chanterelles, but we're not really experts. So yeah, I wouldn't eat anything unless you're unless it's a puffball. Do yeah, no, puffballs puff I know. Yeah. But this thing is sp supposedly a chanterelle. We don't puffballs today. No. I think we could stop at the hey, sugar nymphs and ask them. Yeah, they would know. Yeah, oh, they're not open now, though. Oh, they're not? Yeah, they close at 2.30 on Sundays. Oh, okay. They're open tomorrow. Maybe in town you can ask them. Back. Yeah. All right, well. There's various people that know. Thanks for letting us take a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, enjoy. the Glam Trash Fashion Show? Oh, I want to go to that. When is it? Yeah, the, uh, September 6th. Make a fashion. Be I've, a model. I've thought about it. Or be a model. Yeah. Yeah, that's a I cool idea. Oh. <laughs> uh, or Nicole, we're doing... I'll model for you. I've modeled tons. At my art studio um, down in Pinasco, on, on Friday afternoons, we're doing workshops and making clothes. On Friday afternoons. Do you ever come into town? Yeah, sometimes. I own Taos Timworks in El Prado. Oh, you do? Yeah, in the oh, old great. post office building. Uh-huh. Yeah. In so, El Prado. Okay. Yeah, and Dawn's studio is right next door. He's a sculptor. Oh, great. Yeah. You can't miss the big stainless steel camel out front. Yeah, I've seen all your stuff up there. Oh, yeah? Cool, cool. I want to learn to weld because I'd love to do sculpture stuff. Well, you know, you're talking to the men. Because actually, these these folks are doing this big installation in um, Burning Man, and they they wanted me to come as a welder, but uh, that's not my bag. Well, if you're getting paid a lot of money. No, no pay. No pay. See, see, what I envision for that is I I always want to apply to these things for big installations. You know, where you get where they have a budget of twenty five thousand. Well, you need a grant. Or one hundred and fifty. Yeah, but sometimes they pay for those. Yeah, well, you can get a grant to do that stuff at Burning Man, but it's uh, you have to apply in advance. And yeah. like the next year. Yeah. Yeah, well, come by sometime. Yeah, yeah and, and I too, because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm making a ball gown. Make I'm looking for balls, uh, uh, you know, any kind of deflated old balls, you know, like sports balls or, you know. Okay, we'll keep an eye out. I some of those solar, those, you know, the solar light hanging in my little garden. I just threw, like, five of those yeah. out. They would have been perfect. Yeah, I'm looking for stuff too. I'm doing a butterfly, so I'm looking for like circular things like old gears or anything circular. For a butterfly? Yeah, like to put inside like an as assemblage kind of a thing. Cool. Yeah, I've got some stuff like that. Yeah, I'll bring you something. Cool. I'll, we'll look for balls for you. So, and how do we find you? Um, I'm at Art, Art for the Heart and... Uh, Art for the Heart. Yeah. And you're Jean. I'm Jean, yeah. 587-0202. Oh, I won't remember that. Neither will I. My, my, Do you have a, my name 
is oxygen, so it's O2, O2 as in oxygen. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you might remember that. Oh, yeah, that I can remember. <laughs> Do you have a website? We're, we're, we're setting it up. We've just gotten glamtrash.com, but it's not set up yet. And the, my Art for the Heart one crashed, so it's in the construction. But If I can help you some way, I'd be into it. Look at that hawk or something. It's like it's like carrying a snake or something. Yeah, you can make something, or at least you can model. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. And you so can you're Miriam Marion at Marian. House Tinwork. Yeah. yeah, okay, good. And Dawn. And Dawn. Dawn. You, you see that hawk or whatever? It's carrying like a snake or something. Oh. Yeah, you can't see it now. I saw it for a second. I can see something hanging. Yeah. yeah. It's got like a long snake.